we got a dope video. Sony just filed an insane PlayStation 5 patent. We also got the pricing for every PlayStation 5 accessory leaked as well as Square Enix plans for games in 2020 and last but not least some insane Last of Us 2 news. Let's talk about it all in one epic video. Yes, right. What's up? All oh, right. One play. you guys are doing swell swell i hope you're having a swell saturday hey give this video a thumbs up like 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 let's get right to the news we have an epic giveaway it's coming to the end of the month nintendo switch xbox playstation 4 giveaway subscribe here follow me on twitter let's get to the news all right bro a pretty dope patent has been officially officially published by sony and it's going to allow the playstation 5 to have picture in picture display what do i mean check out the patent bro you can have this one's a better one there's the game and then off to the side in the lower right corner there's a another image another video can be playing what this, uh, many are saying this could be used for, for guides. Let's say you're stuck at a part in the game and you don't know what to do. You click on that option, boom, <coughs> a video guide pops up and lets you know how to complete a certain part in the game. As well as, it could be used for multiple different uses. Um, they didn't go into detail of all the uses, but examples were shown of gameplay within gameplay. So pretty interesting to see how Sony's gonna utilize this whole picture and picture pattern. Here's another screenshot. This time it's up to the left with more information under it. So it could say, first crawl under the red um, object. And then, and so um, picture and picture pattern. I thought that's pretty cool. Can't wait to see the user interface for the PlayStation 5. Should be, should be lit. But this next news item bro an anonymous leaker who's leaked stuff in the past for sony he's leaked the prices for not just playstation 5 the playstation 5 consoles but accessories and information and so here's all everything that he's leaking of course with every leak take it with a grain of salt but it's good for discussion and <coughs> leaks do happen leaks do um become reality so here we go first and i'm feeling this price all right it's saying he's saying that sony will launch the playstation 5 in several countries this holiday season um and the playstation 5 the disc model with the disc will launch at a recommended retail price of 500 us dollars five hundred dollars for the playstation 5 that one the disc all right he also the playstation 5 and the playstation 5 digital both consoles will contain 825 gigabytes s solid state drive because we did know that the main console with the disc was going to have the 825 gigabytes but who knows maybe the digital because it's going to be all digital will have more um nope both will have 825 gigabytes solid state drive this is what really caught my eye if sony does this bro the digital one might take off more than the disc he's saying the playstation with the disc the i mean the disc less the one without the disc is going to be launching at a recommended retail price of $399, $400. That's the price that the PlayStation 4 launched at. And $400, that's 
I think that's going to be the sweet spot for next gen consoles. But the accessories, all of this stuff that comes with it that they showed in the video, check this out. <coughs> Sony will launch DualSense in several countries and will make DualSense available in North America on November 20th at a recommended retail price of $60. That he's saying the controller will cost $59.99, which is around what I expected. Then that was the price of the PlayStation 4 controller. It's gonna have the haptic feedback, the triggers, um, motion aiming, a whole bunch of stuff inside. So 60 bucks for the controller seems about right. <coughs> also, the charging station where the controllers um, come in at, the charging station will be available November 20th at a recommended retail price of $29.99 30 bucks for the charge station interesting to see if the charge station actually comes with um, the console or you have to buy that separately right here is this is for 30 bucks also the HD camera the HD camera 60 bucks $59.99 for the HD <laughs> camera, it ain't a very VR. It's the camera, HD camera uh, that was shown in the trailer. Where is it? Where is it? Right? Where's the HD camera, at, bro? Right there, bro. Right there, bro. The HD camera. Sixty bucks for the HD camera. I'm gonna probably get all these accessories just so it looks cool. But everything looks so futuristic, bro. My game room is gonna be lit. I'm probably do a game room tour soon one day. Next. Perfect timing. The headset. Bro. Now these, <coughs> this was an eyebrow razor. The um, Sony Act will launch a Pulse 3D wireless. This is going to be wireless headset on November 20th for 159 bucks. 160 bucks for the headsets. Which, if you're trying to get a quality, quality um, headset, they're going to run you a pretty penny so 160 that's dope and it's gonna be wireless so um, should be should be should be interesting and last but not least the um, remote the media remote the media remote will launch for 30 bucks 29.99 for the media remote also wait Wait, oh, the stand, the vertical stand. And I could, I'm imagining the vertical stand that allows the console to sit upright. That should come with the system. But according to this leaker, the vertical stand will launch at a price of $24.99. So it's $24, $25 for the stand. Maybe you want to get an extra stand to have it in another room. So you ch take out your PlayStation, put it in another room. I don't know. Um, so $25 bucks for the stand all right we'll launch playstation 5 and he's saying that the console will launch on november 20th so some interesting stuff all right last two news items real quick square enix they showed a dope game at the playstation 5 um, revealed project athia and um square enix is not having their typical e3 press conference instead they're saying they're going to be announcing games um, periodically between the months of July and August so stay peeled for big um, Square Enix announcements Square Enix is one of my favorite all-time companies Square the original Final Fantasy on the NES my favorite game of all time I rock with Square bro and last but not least well-deserved Last of Us 2 has broken all records for Sony and specifically it has sold already over four million copies um uh, it's already passed the four million mark um through june 1st june 21st <coughs> and so uh, through june 21st the game has already passed over four million um sold which is fantastic 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 definitely in my opinion the game of the year contender 
dope, dope, de dope game. I'm loving, loving the game. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. Deuces. Giveaway. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi1Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.